Hi everyone, JP here at Websites for Beginners. In previous videos, we had created a knowledge base for our website. And if you don't know what a knowledge base is, have a look here. When I click here on documentation, it will take me to this page where I have these categories. And under each category, I have articles. And you can build out these articles with the WordPress Gutenberg editor. You can build it out with your favorite page builder. And then you have all this power into categorizing them into categories as well as subcategories. Very easy for people for an FAQ or if you want to provide documentation like I've done in this case for people who are applying for a tender to this company's site. The other thing about a knowledge base that we've kind of overlooked in the previous videos is that you have this search function up here. And that's more or less what it's all about, right? Is that people can come to your site and that these articles are there. But if you have a really, really, re really big site, then they can just search over here and then these articles will be presented to them. That is the power of a knowledge base. And Echo Knowledge Base is the plugin we are using here. We got it for free from the WordPress repository. So everything you see here up to here is free. And what I'm going to show you in this video is still free. We're going to look in this video at the theme wizard, and that's all about styling and how things look. Let's go to the back, Echo Knowledge Base, and then we go and look here in the WordPress navigation sidebar for Knowledge Base, and then select over here Configuration. From here, we are going to select up here the wizards. Make me think of the geniuses, right? Click on the wizards, and you are presented with six wizards, the theme wizard, text wizard, features and sidebars wizard, and then search ordering and global wizard. I always feel a little strange when I realize I'm reading something to people, something that you can actually read by yourself. These wizards came in in the last few months. Previously, you used the old configuration, which is actually difficult for me to adapt to because I am used to the old configuration. You know, I learned the ropes with the old configuration, so I tend to still want to go to the old configuration. But as these wizards have been set up to help you do things a little bit quicker, let's go through these wizards. And today we're looking at the theme wizard. Run wizard, and then he runs. And as the wizard runs, it takes you into the theme wizard. And you can see up here, one, two, three, four, five steps. Actually, only four. The last one is finish. Now, some of these things that you will notice here, actually repeat from the setup wizard. So you had that initial setup wizard, and now you only focus on the theme wizard. So some things here will look familiar to you, like knowledge base title, documentation. And the word that you add here, or the title that you add here, is what your knowledge base is going to display as when you add it to a menu. You see it says documentation, and then search the documentation. And that is what this word over here will do for you. Let's leave it on documentation and then click next. So that's the only thing you're going to change here. And you see they even give examples here. You can use knowledge base, help, support. My case, documentation. Want to be different. Right, so here we are. And one of the things you have to be aware of is that when you look at these various layouts on the left, they will be overriding what you have on the front end. Now, of course, these are not the categories we have on the front end. Have a look here. You will see we have FAQs, projects, and best practice guide. So these are different from these guys. Even I think the font is different here. This is just a rendering of the styling, how it currently looks on the front end. If you start playing around with these layout options that you have here, Immediately, you start getting very nervous. Ooh, la la, where do I get the one that I have on the front end? Have I lost that? First answer is no. You see, you have to get here to finish and save it before these guys are locked in. So you don't have to worry. If you click here, you made a mistake, then don't worry. You, don't, you just don't save it when you get to the end. You can restart and it will still retain this one. But what if you want to go to the next step, but you want to see how it looks currently? Then you go up here where it says Saved Configuration. Click on that, and it will restore the one that we have set up on the front. 
What you also note is that there are three you can call them categories of layouts. You have basic layout, which is the ones that we had used. I think we used formal and then we styled it. Then you have tabs layouts. And I really like tabs if you have a lot of stuff and you can group them into bigger categories. You will see that your first category will appear as a tab at the top. And then your subcategory will appear as what we think is a category down here. That's the only difference when you're working with tabs layouts. I like this, especially the clean. If you have all of these, this will be a very, very nice layout for you. And then this one at the bottom is category focus layout. Not a major change. What you've got here is very similar to the basic, except that they have these little numbers for each of the category. It indicates how many articles are there within that category. This one, three, one, two, three. This one, five, three here and under shipping, there are two. So two plus three naturally equals five. When we look in the future at the add-ons, which is the premium add-ons you get for Echo Knowledge Base, you will get more layouts down here with sidebars, which I love. That's one of the reasons I upgrade to Echo Knowledge Base just for that sidebar. Let's save configuration, click here, and then we click on next. So that was the theme. And then we get to the main page colors. Again, on the left, you have some presets. You can go through them. Wow, shocking. Blue is nice. I like this, dark blue. And you can see lots of styling changes being made, either to the background, to the search box. And again, if you want to see how it will look, the way we had styled it, you just click up here on Save Configuration. So these are presets. But then you have to go to the right, and this is where your true power starts search box and as you click on it we are working up here now you will see the title so this will change the color of the title let's make it all this blue just so you can see how it works the background we can put it on black then let's go and change this to white then you have the input text field input is over here so the border and the background i think we're going to leave this just to show you where those things are you can see it and you just click here on reset if you think you did something and you just want to go back to the default. And then you have the search button over here. Let's change the background for the search button to blue. That is the search box. Then your categories. So you're going to have in this example, your main category, which are these guys at the top. And then you'll have subcategories, which are these guys here with the little arrow next to them. We can change this to blue, so you can see what's going on there. And you can change the background, like so. I'm going to reset this. And then we have the divider. Put that on blue, that line over there. And then text for our subcategories. See that change to blue. And that icon that we are using for the drop-down twirl. Let's give that a different color, mm, red, just so you can see it. Yeah. Then top categories icon. So now we are talking about the icon here next to our categories, the top category. This is the color. Let's also put that in red so we can see that better. And then finally, the color of the articles. So the background is going to be, let's see what the background does. That is for the whole container wherein all the articles appear. We reset that. I'm happy with the white. And then we have the article title. We have text. Let's put it on orange. We're making a real funky one over here. And then the icon, let's put that on purple. So that little icon over there. Maybe you're doing this for a kindergarten. It looks actually very good if a kindergarten needed a, a knowledge base this big. And then you have the article list background. So if we go here, let's put it on orange, you see only this area. So you can apply that kind of, I think a gray usually will work pretty good here. There's a border as well. Let's give it a border. Okay. And there you go. I'm going to reset these guys. And of course, remember, if you don't want to use any of this, you simply go up here, click on Save Configuration, we are back to the way that we had originally styled it. 
And that's what you're going to do with your main page colors. What is the main page? Now, the main page is this landing area you go to when you access your documentation and your knowledge base. This is only your index. So this is what we refer to as the main page. This is the main page then. But you have then separate control over each of these articles. So if I go back and I click on next now, it's going to take me into article page colors. And you will see over here, we have control over the table of contents. We have meta control for the colors over here and the metadata, the breadcrumbs, and then everything else. Same thing, we have the colors over here, table of contents. You have your active heading, which is this part here. Let me just put it on blue so you can see how that will change. And we have the cursor hover color. That is your hover state. As I hover over it, let's put that on yellow. So you can see that is our hover state. And just the border, I was looking for it over here, that line on the left it's over here, that's the border. That's how you style out the table of contents. Same controls then for all the other styling. Back navigation is this one over here that says all topics. So you can apply a background to it if you want to. We put the text in white. And then border, if we want to have a border, I think we can put the border in black. But as you can see, we don't set width in this theme wizard. We only work with the colors here. So this is mainly just color styling. Then the breadcrumbs, these guys here that you can go back and then we can change the color again here. Let's put it on yellow, which we won't be able to see. Let's put it on green, which is also difficult. And we put it on blue and then we have the layout. So we have the left sidebar background. And if I put a color here, you're not going to see a sidebar because we don't have one here. That is something that you can add, but I don't think it's that useful if you don't have the pro add on. But for the content area, you can probably make some changes here if you needed that. Use this a little bit and you can add your hex color in over there. And then you have also right sidebar. There you go. And absolutely not what I had in mind. Now this has been set up and I don't see the original con save configuration. There we go. So what I had done here to circumvent that thing being locked in is I just click back on previous to show you again. Let's go to the layout and we change it to these crazy colors that I had done. Oh, wait, content area. Let's make it green and then it's on orange. So if I want to continue, but I don't want to keep these colors and I still want to see how it looked originally, start afresh, I'll just click here on previous and then I'll click here on save configuration. That will load my save configuration again. Click on next and it's back to the way we had set it up. The reason I guess they didn't add it here is because this is the last part of the theme wizard. If you don't want to make changes here, you can simply exit and your work won't be lost. And then when you click on next, that will bring us to finish. And now you only see the word apply. They are very conscientious. They are very much aware that as you go through these steps, you may make mistakes along the way. And that when you get to the end, you realize, nope, rather start from the beginning and that you haven't locked it in. And that's why the apply button only appears at the end. And then you can just say exit wizard if you didn't click on apply. And in the event, let's run the wizard one more time. In the event where you come to, let's say, theme, and I go to main page colors, and I want to make changes here, and I don't want to go to the next one, I want to exit, but I want to save the changes, you click here on save before exit, and then save and exit. This allows you to exit the wizard prematurely without having to go through the remainder of those steps. And that's the theme wizard. Genius, right? A very nice way to set up all the color styling for your echo knowledge base on your website. I'm pretty happy with how we had styled it at the beginning. But remember, if you want to make tweaks, if you want to change the colors, you will go to the theme wizard. That's in the WordPress navigation sidebar under knowledge base configuration. And then you just select the wizards here at the top. And from here, run the theme wizard. This is JP here at Websites for Beginners. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you around. Stay safe.